Hey, hey, Mzansi crew. Now, in this day and age, you would think big corporations like Clicks have learned do not go out and put something out in public that has anything to do with racial discrimination. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News Mzansi. Now, if you're new to the channel, you know you love the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, South Africans are still reeling from the racially triggering blunder Clicks has got caught up in. And prominent figures in politics and the arts have called for the outright cancellation of the cosmetic giant. It's still unclear what the image Images were seeking to convey. The cosmetic giant did not explain why images loaded onto its website described black people hair as dry, damaged and dull, while white people hair was described as flat, fine and normal. Instead, Clicks resolved to acknowledge the blunder and promised to put in place a stricter measure on their website. They said, we have made a mistake and sincerely apologize for letting you down. We now recognize we have a role to play in creating a more diverse and inclusive South Africa, starting with our website content. We know we need to do better and commit to ensuring our content better reflects this value. The most recent statement from Clicks read. Namzanzi demanded the cosmetic giant must fall. The floor chilling statement fell on deaf ears. Prominent figures in politics and the arts have joined calls for the Tone Deaf Corporation to be cancelled once and for all. The multi-award winning musician Shikana declared clicks must just close. Economic freedom fighters like national spokesperson Buiseni Lozi could not even phantom the goal. How dare they insult our hair, black people? You have no more chicks to give after a billion claps for 600 years. You also have nothing to lose but your chains. It is you, blacks, who must end racism. End it now by any revolutionary means possible, Ndrozi tweeted. Now, here are some of the reactions from Zanzi, who collectively in a call to have clicks cancelled. Zex Bandwini said, enough is enough. This corporations do this on purpose, knowing that all they will do is apologize on Twitter and other platforms, thinking it's just will end there. We saw HM do the same thing. Now Click's essay is following suit. They truly undermine us and underestimate our power. Bonnie got involved and Zozibini Tunzi, who we all know is a big advocate for African hair, said, not only is this disrespectful to black life, it is also evidence of an absence of representation and diversity within the organization. And we are talking about a South Africa with a population of 80% black people stand to be corrected. No ways at Clicks SA. Now, Mzansi, you know I love to chat to you on the comment section below. Now, do let me know, do you also stand for clicks must fall or do you accept their apology? Now, you know I will always bring you the tea hot just the way you like it.